Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Alice, also known here as the Ugly Duckling and in today's videos I will share with you the five things uh, things you have to declutter now. Now now is now now is the perfect timing to do that because I imagine you as me are all locked down at home so we actually have the time to go to our wardrobe, try everything on and see what needs to go. So go ahead and do that. Number one, it's clothes that no longer fit you. So go ahead, try everything on and uh, just give it away everything that uh, it's too big, it's too short, it's too tight or that simply doesn't flatter you. You don't need to keep these things in your wardrobe and these are very easy to declutter. If you find something that you think you might be able to make you uh, fit, so if it is something, for example, uh, like a pair of trousers that it's a little bit too long and you just need a hem, uh, that's no problem, but be very honest with yourself. Are you going to adjust these items or not? And I would suggest you to put all the items that you want to uh, adjust or repair in a pile and to really uh, have it done as soon as the quarantine is over, because otherwise they will just stay in your closet forever and create clutter. Number two, and it is connected, is anything that it has been on the repair pile for too long. Uh, now, as I was saying, we have all clothes that we think, yeah, I can just adjust it. It is just a hole. I can uh, re-sew it. I can uh, readjust that button. Whatever it is, just be honest with yourself. For how long has it been in your repair pile? Because if it has been for a year and in a full year you never had you've never been bothered to adjust what you have to adjust and chances are that you won't be bothered to adjust it even in the next year. So just let it go. Number three, it's clothes that you haven't used in a long time, especially, especially if they still have the tag on. If you never even remove the tag, then just let it go. It means that that uh, cloth never serve a purpose to you. Now, I would honestly advise to wait at least a couple of seasons before decluttering an item, if it is an item that you really love. Because it might be that the reason why you didn't use it is just that you didn't have the opportunity to use it. Like in my case, um, I had a couple of uh, camisoles that uh, I really, really loved. And last summer I didn't get any use out of them. But then when I thought back, just Belgium had a very bad summer last year. It was very rainy, it was very cold, so I really didn't didn't have enough opportunity to wear them out. But I still love them, so I will give them another summer before deciding to um, give them away. But if you have something that has been standing in your wardrobe for years and you never use it, you never missed it, you never wanted to use it, now is the right time to let it go. Number four is uh, uh, things that you're keeping only because you feel guilty in letting them go. Now, this is a very complicated phrase, but what I mean is if you have something that you don't use, you don't like, but you don't want to let it go, uh, either because it is a gift and you don't want to give away a lovely gift that someone made for you, or uh, because maybe it was very expensive and you feel guilty in not using something that was very expensive. You don't need to feel guilty. If you don't use these things, just let them go. Let them someone else enjoy those items and that will be a much better life for that items rather than just sitting in your wardrobe collecting dust. So Five is duplicates. Now this might be just me, but uh, when I went through my own wardrobe, I noticed that uh, I tend uh, to buy uh, similar items to something I really love. So uh, in my case, for example, I had a lot of black dresses and at least two or three flower uh, dresses and skirts. But actually, I always use uh, the same black dress, the same flower skirt, the same flower dress. And that's because these were the original items that I really loved. And everything else I bought just because it was similar to the original items and I thought, well, I love the first one and uh, I will surely use uh, a lot also the second one that is very similar. But in practice that never happened because I always gravitated towards the first one that caught my eye because that is the item that I really love. If you are in a situation like this, just let go all uh, the other similar pieces because you're simply not using them or at least you're not using them enough. 
So that was a very uh, quick list, but that's just because, of course, a decluttering process uh, takes a lot of time. You need to go through uh, many, many times uh, before uh, really decluttering a full wardrobe. But these, I think, are very uh, quick things that you can do immediately because uh, uh, it's pretty immediate to go through uh, your wardrobe and see, ah, okay, these things doesn't fit me or uh, okay, these things I haven't used in the last three, four years, maybe it's time to let it go. So these are really uh, fast way in which you can start uh, your decluttering process. Now, uh, I would also recommend you to uh, use this decluttering process as a learning curve in the sense that uh, try to see the pattern uh, in your wardrobe and try to see what you are um, decluttering the most. Now, if it's something that doesn't fit you, it just doesn't fit you. There's no much uh, uh, to think there. But if you see that there is uh, some items that you kept uh, for years and you never use them, try to understand why you didn't use them. And that will be useful for you the next time uh, to avoid making the same mistakes. So for example, uh, when I went through my wardrobe, I noticed that there were some colors that I just don't uh, like wearing and I wrote them down and now I know that I don't have um, to buy those colors anymore. Uh, again, duplicates, I sign down what are the things that I tend to buy uh, more often and I don't use, so I won't uh, make the same mistake. At the same time, I also try to understand what I am still keeping in my wardrobe and why I love it so much because that can actually be useful if you see, for example, that the a certain cut of trousers, a certain color, there is something that you particularly uh, enjoy, then uh, when uh, you will need to substitute that items, you know what to go for because you have a much clearer idea of what you like, but also what serves you best, what you will really use. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving a thumbs up and maybe even subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you back since then. Bye.